Hello, welcome back. I have another story for you today. I was in college. I was a junior. I was freaking crazy. Borderline kleptomania. Sometimes it would just be for fun. Sometimes it's because I actually needed things and you're in college. So, you know, you don't have a lot of money. So I remember this day so clearly. It's a week before spring break I'm with one of my roommates and close friends. We're going to spring break together. I don't think we bought anything. I think we were just gonna leave. Mind you, I have this big, like huge purple purse. So it's it looks obvious, it looks suspicious. And we're about to leave, we're about to go through the doors. All of a sudden, this man jumps in front of me, he's a security guard, and he says, I need you both to come with me right now. Immediately, I get this weird rush of calmness, like, I am panicking, but at the same time I start thinking, I need to get out of the situation the best possible way. I had some friends who a year before had gotten caught, and obviously that wasn't a lesson to me. They got their mug shots taken, they got taken out to the police station. I was just thinking, this cannot be me, I cannot do this, how do I get out of this? So he starts talking to us, asking us questions, asking where we're from. The reason we got caught is because my friend had went into this target earlier and there was only really one target in that area. Went into this target and stole uh, something. Security guard showed us the video that he saw of her taking the item. So he already had a target on her and when I came in with this huge bag, it was pretty clear what was going to happen. And she didn't tell me that she had went there earlier in the day and done this. So I had no idea. I thought it was just going to be a regular time. My friend, she's Caucasian, I'm just going to say it. She starts going off on this man <laughs> for what reason? I don't know why. I don't know why that was her reaction. She started going off, don't have a right to watch us and this is discrimination, da, da, da. I don't know what angle, I don't know what her strategy was. I was thinking, okay, I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm just gonna play my cards, you know, I'm a cutie. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest and try to get my way out of it. So I told the security guard that we were just two college students trying to go to spring break, didn't have a lot of funds, so this is what we were trying to do. I was just focused on not being arrested because I saw my friends get mug shots and it is not a cute sight. It was not for me. I had close to, it was either between a hundred to $150 in there. It's crazy because I was contemplating taking one more item and if I would've went over a certain limit, I would have uh, gotten a huge felony. So once my friend picks up that I am playing the sympathy card, she starts playing along with me and just trying to be, seem like a person, you know, not seem like a criminal, seem like an actual person. We're just going through it. The security guy and my friend started talking about how they were both from Connecticut and all these different things. So I think he started easing up on us a little bit. So the rule is, is that if you stay in there, for an hour and the police don't show up because they call the police, then you get to go free. Luckily, the police got caught up with something. They weren't able to come. They said we were free to go, but we couldn't return to the Target or even in the parking lot vicinity for a year. And if we were caught there, we could get arrested. I tell you that day, I believed in a higher power. I said, someone is looking out for me. And it would get really awkward because I didn't really tell anyone. People would ask me if I want to go to Target or they would just pull up and uh, I would already be in the car with them. I would just awkwardly try to walk away. Although maybe they wouldn't recognize me, I did not want to even risk it. I was looking at all costs because I felt like I got saved. I'm not going to go through it again. After that, I said, no way <laughs> am I ever putting myself in this situation again. I don't care. If I can't afford it, I'm just going to take that out. It's going to be whatever. My friend, on the other hand, we literally went to uh, Florida for spring break and she ended up stealing me a pair of sunglasses. A scary time, honestly. And they showed us how they can zoom in and I see a lot of videos that say that and explain that it's true they do have really advanced technology at the security team at target sometimes 
they don't go up to you right away when they catch you stealing in Target. Sometimes they keep a log of how many times you come in or how many items you've taken or how many times you've taken an item. And then they wait for a certain amount to catch you at. It was just a really crazy time in my life. I think it's just something that you do when you're young. You do dumb shit. You know, luck is on my side. And that's something I'm always grateful for. A couple months later, I thought everything was okay. I thought we were off scotch free. And then uh, comes the summertime of the same year, I get a leather in the mail and my aunt opens the leather instead of me, which is illegal by the way. You can't open other people's mail. It doesn't matter who you are. And I had to pay a fine, I wanna say from 300 to $500. And luckily that week I was getting paid. It was really convenient at that time, but she opened the leather even though she wasn't supposed to. And she ended up calling me a thief for like a week. So that was my, that was my prison. That's what I'll take. The stealing spree that I went on was strong. From my sophomore to junior year, it was actually pretty bad, pretty chaotic. A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. I'm not saying I'm proud of it, but I will say that it was just something I went through. It was just a time in my life. And I think most people do it and you just don't expect it. And I really think that that is a statement on society that people feel like they need to do that. The minimum wage in Virginia is $7.25, which is unheard of. And this was 2019. So it's been the same for years, years. That's the lowest I've ever worked for, for a job. Moral of the story is, is that everything has a consequence. Even if you can't see it now, even if you think you got away with it, everything comes full circle. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. My name is Janet. Thank you so much for watching my video and supporting me. I hope you enjoy. Leave a comment if you experienced something similar or, you know, if you just had a life-changing moment that could have ended up badly but luck prevailed. Um, leave a like, subscribe. I have an EP that just came out called Snowfall, so you should listen to it. I know you would love it. And yeah, bye.